Hello, my lovely hummingbirds. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? I know you're probably wondering, why do I look like little bunny frou-frou hopping through the fucking forest? I don't actually know how to answer that. So for today's episode of A Grain of Salt here on Pop Culture, we are going to be doing a pick a card. It is my first pick a card, so we're going to do our very best. Now, this pick a card is going to have an extended edition. It will be inside the link in the description, the one with the little crystal ball on it. You should go ahead, click it, subscribe, and I promise nothing crazy is going to be on there. But <laughs> too crazy. We are doing spicy reads on there as well. So go on there, click on it, subscribe, all that good shit. And tune in for your extended reading. The readings on here, um, timing at about 10 minutes or so. Uh, and then we're going to get more in depth with like advice and other shit that you need to know. Now, the three piles are as follows. The pile number uno is the Tarot Egipcio, which is a Mexican tarot deck, Mexican tarot deck based with Egyptian iconography, which I don't know how that happened. And as the clarifier for that one, we are going to have the Cosmic Cat Wisdom Tarot cards. And we are going to be using this little bad boy right here. It is the Dalmatian Jasper, also native to Mexico. So either you are Mexican, love Mexican culture, or are interested in someone of Hispanic descent, or maybe you just fucking like the crystal because it's speckly or the cards or the color yellow. Up next for pile number two, we have the big mama deck, <laughs> the IJJ Swiss tarot deck love her um yeah <laughs> we're we're gonna we're gonna leave that as that because uh, yeah <laughs> as the clarifier for big mama uh it was very interesting because yesterday i had done sacred symbols uh, an oracle deck as the clarifier but this time around i looked down and i had placed the light sears tarot deck as the clarifier for big mama so uh, i guess that's what it's gonna be <laughs> and we have this lovely little baby malachite that kind of looks like a guitar pick to me so you might be in the arts, in music, and all that good stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> My mind just started going. Foo, 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 foo. And last but not least, for pile number tres, we have the Labyrinth Tarot deck with the affirmations card this one is not okay it's an oracle deck but it is not it's from purple canyon it's not what's the word i'm looking for i don't know my brain just went goodbye but we have, you'll probably find out about it in the reading. <laughs> we have this uh, orange calcite is what it is. I never noticed how deep of a black speck it has on it, which is like, it confused the fuck out of me first. I was like, wait, but yes, this is orange calcite. It's so pretty. It reminds me of like, I don't know, like a little lava rock 
So yeah, those are the three choices for today. And yeah, let's get started. First up, for the Dalmatian Jasper, for the Tarot Egipcios, which essentially is Egyptian tarot deck. Uh, <laughs> funny story. And now like, haha, funny. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> funny story. So in my trip to my motherland, to Mexico, literally my motherland, I went to the time at mom's room. <laughs> um, I was having a conversation with my cousins and <laughs> we started talking especially like one of me because other one was, where was she i think she went to the store uh <laughs> but we were talking about life as a whole and like spirituality and all this stuff and i started talking to her about tarot and how i can do it and told her the story of like my first, well not my first, but essentially the deck from pile two and the story behind it and how I got it. And she shows up the following day and she's like, you know, when you were telling me that story, I kind of gasped because I was like, oh my God, this deck has never worked for me. And every time she tried to go to a class and it never happened, all this stuff, right? real beautiful exchange of the deck and I looked at it and Egyptian imagery has a lot of like it's had a lot of impact of late <laughs> in my spiritual journey like it'll pop up messages and shit through like so many forms of I what am I trying to say I can't word but there was a reason for me sharing that story with you. And I'm pretty sure I know what it is just by looking at your reading alone. So this is your reading. And in the reading, let's just start off with Dalmatian Jasper, okay? You picked Dalmatian Jasper. If you didn't pick the deck itself, you picked the crystal. And it involves having fun. Dalmatian Jasper is all about the here, the now, having fun, enjoying the moment, and really being present. Also, during this reading, like I was shuffling your cards and it didn't take me that long to shuffle, but during the shuffling as I was getting the downloads, also my ear is fucking killing me right now. You've probably been dealing with a lot of shit talking. You've probably been dealing with a lot of scrutiny over the choices that you have made in your life. And what you've been doing is simply to keep busy. While you have been productive and effective, you find yourself in this sensation of like, I have to do so I don't get distracted. Um, my lovely hummingbirds because of the background of like me talking about my homeland and how like egyptian symbolism and iconic i can why can't i say that right now wow iconography i can iconographia jesus symbolism we're just gonna go with symbolism because i don't know what is happening to my voice right now. Like I know I'm usually tripping up every now and then, but this, this is a lot. Hmm. Can I get my little mug? Yes, I'm in Chicago uh, and I love Chicago. Such a Chicago bitch thing to say, but <laughs> also when I started talking about your family, my candle started, cause I have a candle here. It started belting out black smoke and the smoke on the incense stick which has been depleting very quickly and these don't do that i had one burning for like three four hours last time so this shit well i'm exaggerating it was like an hour but it's been like five minutes like what is happening why is it more than halfway down so 
when I was talking about your family, ooh, I didn't even know it was your family. That's interesting, the scrutiny. Your family's probably been heavily in your face about the decisions that you've made in your life of recently because things might have seemed perfect before. It might have seemed like you had it all figured out, like everything was hunky fucking dory and then it ended up not being that. So to kick us off <laughs> with your overall message, your overall message is the five of pentacles and the strength card. This is the strength card. And this is the five of pentacles in this deck. The reason I say in this deck is because the five of pentacles in the original tarot does not represent what it represents here. In the original tarot, five of pentacles represents poverty, begging, being left out in the cold. Here, upright, the meaning for the five of pentacles is amante, amantes, which basically means lover, lovers. So, and not like the lover's card. It's more like you're literally stuck in a fucking situation between multiple people because you have the person, jeez, I need you to stop drinking if you're drinking. That's not for everybody. But I have a headache, like, right here. And I got nauseous, like, I just got the fucking spins. And I drink, so I know that feeling. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Don't need to stop. If you're, if you're, oh, shit. If you're drinking... If you are smoking and fucking and doing all this other shit that you're not supposed to be doing and you were told to stop, stop. Because the only person that's going to get fucking hurt in the situation is you to the point where, like, I'm hearing you might catch something. Like, catch something. Be very careful. Be very cautious. When I was pulling out the oracles that I'm going to use for clarification in the extended reading for your pile, which I did not know it was for your pile, <laughs> mind you, I just had this feeling of grabbing my love oracle cards. And I'm like, why the fuck am I grabbing these? This isn't a love reading. Apparently it is. You're stuck between three people. And one of those three <laughs> is your damn self, sort of. So the vibe that I'm getting for your overall message is you're going to have to make a really difficult decision. And the difficult decision for you is standing up for you, standing up for yourself, for your beliefs, for what it is that you actually want and who it is you actually want. The way that it's playing out in my head, because it's flashing like a fucking movie, a very dizzy, glitzy, fun, I can see why you've done what you've done, looks fun as fuck, but I'm also cursing a lot for like... A 10 minute read and this is gonna be longer than 10 minutes i didn't know i led to you <laughs> thinking that it wouldn't be it's okay uh shit so you have the person that you were with your sign your ex significant other you have your friend and i put it in quotes because they're their friend, también, así, in quotes. And then you have the person you're actually supposed to be with your divine. And they're on the outside of all of this fucking shit. They're just like, well, on us. <laughs> I've done all the work. Universe, what's happening? And my lovely hummingbirds. 
If you're scared, why are you scared? You, we're gonna get into that into the extent that of why you're afraid of this situation. You probably think you know why you just don't wanna admit it, but I'm doing a whole lot of talking. You feel very like your mind is running a mile a minute when you're still or when you're silent and where you're not like overwhelming yourself with work and extracurriculars. Your ex-partner and you didn't work out because it wasn't supposed to. It might have from the outside looking in seemed like the perfect cookie cut cookie cootie cooties <laughs> they have cooties that's fucked up uh <laughs> please go get tested <laughs> is all i'm gonna say on that but it seemed like the perfect cookie cutter relationship it seemed like it was it was along with the plan that you were supposed to have for your life also i'm slouching you my love needs to get it together respectfully. I need you to get up. If you're if you're laying down right now in bed, hung over, watching this, I'm gonna need you to get the fuck up, go shower, brush your teeth, wash your face, take sh and eat something. Please. Breathe and then come back to this reading because I am, I feel so worn down and just fucking exhausted of everything. And that's your energy. Cause I did not wake up feeling like this. I was, I was in a good ass mood. <laughs> I was like, yes, we're gonna go do things today. And I'm just like, mm. I feel like crying to like tragos amargo licor. Fotos y Recuerdos, which is Vicente Fernandez and Selena and Quintanilla. And then fucking Woman by Selena Gomez. No, is this Selena Gomez? Who the fuck sings that song? Fucking not Selena, it's that and Doja Cat. I don't know why I said Selena Gomez. Aww. I know why I said Selena Gomez. It's fucked up. So you see your divine counterpart as the one that got away, as your Selena, and you're Justin, and your ex, who you were, I'm, I don't mean to laugh at you, who you were in a very committed relationship, engaged for some, married, now divorced for others as Haley and then fucking Kendall is the bestie that you had a one-nighter with and now you can't get rid of. You don't have to get rid of two out of those three people. Because while your previous relationship, like I said, might have seen... And you don't want me to talk about this. You don't want me to talk about this previous fucking relationship because the reality of it hurts. Because while on the outside it looked beautiful and perfect to the fucking plan, you are a very meticulous, you are a very meticulous mofo. You have Cap, Taurus, or Virgo as your son. You don't have to be, if, if you're not, but you probably have the placement in the second the 6th, the 10th, or the 7th, one of those three houses. If you haven't done your birth chart, you can pull it up. There's a bunch of sites online. Or hire me and I'll do it for you. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know what that was. You've been very focused on business, on building material wealth, building financial security, but you haven't all been doing it with a good intent. And I don't mean good intent as in like you have a bad intention for this. I'm saying you have been doing it with the sensation of like 
I need to get shit done because if I'm not doing something, I'm going to lose my fucking mind because I don't want to think about this. I don't want to think about her. I don't give a fuck about her. And I can stop thinking about the other one. The other one is your divine. The first, and if you are not male, and this is a female watching this or a non-binary person, take it as it resonates. The reading is for you and the other three people are the other three people. Now, what I said of you are your biggest obstacle, you, that's one of the people you're fighting. I feel like your ex is not physically present anymore. Well, okay, no. They might still be on occasion because your family might be very involved with this situation. Very involved with this situation. Baby, cut the cord. Um, <laughs> I also do cord cuttings. <laughs> anyway, craziness aside, the reason that I said, even though there are three people that you are linked to, one of the people that you're fighting is yourself because you're not fighting your divine. Your divine is minding their own damn fucking business, doing what the fuck they gotta do. They're chilling. And if you're wondering if they're effing around, they're not. Because the universe literally won't let them is the vibe I just got. <laughs> and they're stressed. <laughs> they out here, y'all got them buying things. Uh, we're gonna go over that in, in the extended, because it's spicy. <laughs> oh, child, wow, okay. Is, this ended up being, like, way more intuitive than I initially intended it to be. Let me tell you, this was not the plan. This was not the plan. <laughs> And that's probably what you've been finding yourself saying. So your two cards for where you are in your current situation is the Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> no, let me just cover my face with it. And Temperance card. Wait, I'm trying to not get the reflection of the ring light it's impossible <laughs> it's not impossible by the way being with the person that you actually want to be with it's not and you returning to a toxic situation with your ex or a what started off as a toxic situation with this friend that's whispering in your fucking ear what was oh my god i just got a scene my fucking eye hurts bro i keep saying bro <laughs> My lovely hummingbird, that was... <laughs> Bro, wait, hear me out though. <laughs> My eye has been like freaking out. I need you to do a cleanse. And don't ask that fucking friend to do it. Get a family member to do it. I'm seeing a really pretty, dainty brown girl. Uh, She might be your cousin. She's cousin not getting really sister maybe a sister but very close to you is where the situation they do spiritual shit wow i feel so heavy right now whoever the fuck okay whoever the fuck is doing this to you they don't they don't want me to say this i just oh my god i feel like shit fuck y'all y'all ain't got no space here we not doing this Yes, I'm bringing the smoke to me so it could, like, poof, away. <laughs> oh, my God, I didn't put on my necklace. Hold on. I have returned. <laughs> I feel so much better. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. I don't like this person. Your little fucking friend. <laughs> Your little fucking friend or whatever. I don't like them. They, they stressing me the fuck out over here. So with the Temperance and the Knight of Pentacles card, the Temperance card here in this deck represents health. It represents taking care of your physical health, your mental health, 
you're doing good on the financial because what I'm getting from the from the Knight of Pentacles. So it says provecho shit. Provecho utilidad. You have been hyper focused on having material wealth, material gains, financial stability, which is beautiful. It's great. I love that for you. But you've been doing it to the point of some of y'all just got up and went outside and started smoking. And like, I can't judge when it comes to that. But damn, like my voice don't got to get fucking raspy. <laughs> Why are we doing this to me? No. Uh, <laughs> so when I didn't talk about that little fake ass friend you got and your family, the candle is like not blowing black smoke anymore. You need to be very careful of who you're seeking counsel from. And I don't know why I said counsel. Some of you might be in public works, in law, in service of some sort. state or local um but your overall energy feels really really fucking heavy now your greatest obstacle oh, 222 it said 2222 on the recording ain't that some shit so your biggest obstacle the Five of Cups here, so the Five of Cups in the traditional tarot is essentially looking at like crying over spilled milk. You're looking at the one cup that fell over and you got four beautiful cups behind you, which is like your health, your wealth, your prosperity, and your love, right? And you're looking at the past and what could have been in your life the way you had it planned for you and... It's like, baby, you're wasting time. But here, the meaning for it is herencia. Now, not all of you have a inheritance lined up. Some of you do. Uh, if you're wealthy and you're watching this thing, go subscribe to the site with the crystal ball and go buy some readings for me. But... <laughs> Uh, if you have the means to, it'd be nice. Or tell someone that does. Um, so it's not just that, like, <laughs> your financial wealth might be riding on you leaving this relationship in the sense of, like, your generational wealth. So you've probably been told by family that, like, if you don't follow through with this ex that you had and you go chase this person... There are religious factors for some of you impacting your love life that is not for everyone. I just got a flash from one of my decks, like I saw the card in my head. Uh, because you might be from different religious backgrounds, different cultural backgrounds as well. The fact that it's like Egyptian tarot, but it's a Mexican deck, like you might, you might be mixed too, might be a thing. And the vibe that I'm getting is your family literally told you it's her or us. It's her or your inheritance from your grandmother um, is the vibe I'm getting. That's very interesting. Uh, very specific. I don't know who that's for. But that's your biggest obstacle. It is not necessarily the fact that you will lose it all. It's the fact that in order for you to not lose the people that genuinely give a fuck about you, you got to stop pretending. You got to stop pretending and having it all together. And you got to stop pretending that this previous relationship was the bee's fucking knees because it wasn't. The reason that and I'm getting family very heavy. The reason your family specifically is like, but they were perfect, is because you painted them that way. 
I'm pretty sure half of, and I'm getting cousins, half of your fucking cousins don't even like this bitch. This person. That's real. I got so many people just hopping in. Hopping into this reading, holy shit. We're gonna have to light another one. We're gonna do a lavender one this time because I think you need some some calmness. You need some serenity. You need you need a breather. And I don't mean a breather, I mean like <sighs> breather. Apparently we're gonna need two of them. <laughs> Apparently we're gonna need those. So you are in this sensation, my love, of like, you're looking at the past for everything that it was. You're looking at, I'm lighting it in the candle, in case you're wondering. You're looking at the flame of your life like it is over, but it is not, it really isn't. Also, you may be really into music because when it formed that way, I just thought of like a guitar pick. We're just, we're just gonna do this to you right now. Just. Okay, Brandon, real fast, but we're gonna leave that alone. Also, if you think that what you're feeling for your divine is simply like, I don't know who the fuck told you. I don't know who the fuck told you that it is simply because you never got to bed them. That is not true. You feel what you feel for a reason and the biggest injustice that you are going to do for yourself is not trying. And I keep getting this feeling of like, you're scared of them. Not them per se. I said that and I just pictured whoever you are. Uh, it's a little bit of a person going, chuckling, like, I'm not scared of them. They're fucking adorable. They're so cute. Like, you have all this, like, cute-ass love for them and some sexy-ass passion for them. <laughs> you don't have to be scared. Like, you guys are going to have this conversation the way that it's supposed to happen but it is going to take action on your part to face face the demons face your demons and really open up to the people that genuinely give a fuck about you and that are like obsessed with this past relationship um i don't know why this smoke blowing towards me right now but it looks pretty cool <laughs> Interesting. Um, where you're headed. Real beautiful. Real beautiful. The Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is victory, success. It is celebration. It is joy. It is achieving something incredible with this person. What it's gonna take on your part though, is the Page of Swords. Now it says espionaje on the top portion of the card, but essentially espionaje means spying. So I'm getting the vibe of like, you have been social media. You've been stalking their fucking social media. You probably have a Finsta or like a fake ass TikTok trying to like figure out I know I'm exposing them, I'm sorry. <laughs> the smoke every time I'm just like. Um, I take it as it's protecting me from whoever doesn't want me to say this, but the card that popped out with the page of swords here is the wheel of fortune. And it says Fortuna Dignidad, right? When you spy on them, you feel like you're betraying your dignity. <laughs> you feel like you're betraying who you are. You feel like 
it also feels like it's not enough. But you've been filled with so many sensations of I'm not enough recently that you're like, this is the best that I could fucking do. And they might be because you've dealt with some very negative talk about who you are from people close to you because you've put on this mask of who you're supposed to be versus who you genuinely are because it might have been shot down before at the end of the day my lovely hummingbird my lovely hummingbirds whoever is really meant to be in your life will be in your life whoever genuinely gives a fuck about you is going to be there for you is going to be there for your relationship with your divine and I'm not saying feminine or masculine because it could be either female, male, non-binary, whatever have you. That might also be a thing that's stressing you out. Your divine might not be straight. And you're freaking out of like how that's going to look. So... If you are part of the, I was going to say Ligobata, because of fucking TikTok. If you are part of the LGBTQIA plus community, or if you're straight and they're bi, right? You don't know how that's essentially going to be received because they probably are out and loud and proud in comparison to like, other people in your life or whatever it is um why does it matter you're gonna be the one that's talking to them not everybody else so that's the tarot portion of your thing we're gonna do three cards from the cosmic cat tarot deck uh but one of the cards that popped out as i was putting away the rest of the deck was juicio final which literally means final judgment. And <laughs> upright, it means, so this one doesn't exist because I don't think it's the same as the judgment. It might be the same as the judgment card. I don't remember when I looked through these. Um, <laughs> it might be the same as the judgment card. I just saw 33 on my thing, 33, 17. Uh, so I'm getting either 17 or 18 was like the last in your face physical contact where like you were both in your right mindset is the vibe I'm getting from that. You don't want to wait till you're well into your 30s to see this person again. You don't have to. You can go and like see them now. If you are 33 and you're like, damn, how you know my age, I don't know what to tell you. If you're 17 and watching this, uh, don't click on the link and go on to, it, it's on the spicy site. You can't go on there. I have things set up specifically. You can't, you can't, I'm sorry. But <laughs> if you're 17 and you're watching this, it'll be okay. There's a whole world in front of you. Okay. No te, no te molestes con todo eso. Focus on like school. <laughs> You're doing the right thing. Focus on school. Um, but for this card, with what I get with judgment, right? With juicio final, it feels, literally feels like the end of fucking days for you. Like so dramatic. <laughs> it feels like the end of fucking days. It feels like if you do this, your world's going to implode. But like... From every supernova, a new beautiful star is born. Hell, even a galaxy might be created from it. You don't know. But why are you so scared? If your perfect plan didn't fucking work. And it's not going to because this person treated you like shit. I'ma just be real. They treated you like shit. They used you and abused you for your time, for your energy, for your money, for your body. And like, while they might have cared at a point, I'm not saying they never did. They don't really give a fuck about you. They think they do, 
because you've probably been doing this for a long fucking time. But it's going to be okay. And then with the pleito ganado, yeah. Yeah, you coming forward is going to come with a battle and a half. And you're going to win that fight, but it's also going to be a fight because it's a situation that you placed yourself in by not being true and genuine to yourself. And the fight itself is going to be for you to be you completely. Because your person already loves you. Okay, your person is like, that's my baby. <laughs> you know the fucking sound on TikTok of like Mama Odie, like, that's your man. Wait, why do I say Mama Odie? You're probably watching The Princess and the Frog a lot. Aww, you got money, they don't got money, that's crazy. Uh, <laughs> that's not for everybody either, but interesting. The one that I saw on TikTok was like they were cosplaying as Tiana and Mama Odie. And it shows Prince Naveen as a frog. And that's like one of my favorite fucking movies too. That's so cute. Um, that's why I'm like cheesing. <laughs> I love that movie. One day I will go to Nola. But yeah, she's like, that's your man. And she's like, yeah. <laughs> That's your person. They're probably also stalking your socials. Y'all are so fucking funny. We're going to do the Cosmic Cat. We're just going to do this one real quick. This ended up being a damn near hour long reading, my love. <sighs> Baby. We're going to work on the extended later. <laughs> but damn. You good, babe? This we are going to shuffle on camera. Because maybe you just need a minute of listening to cards hitting my table. I just got a message about gambling. Not like your gambling or doing shit weirdly, but more so like, not you're, that you're moving in a shady way, but like it feels to you like it's a fucking gamble. Like it's a toss up. And I love you, but if you pick your ex, I'm going to just be very fucking real with you. You will never be happy. There is no happiness in that situation. If the universe is trying to remove them from you, it's for a reason. But you have to have fun. You have to have fun and you have to start getting into the notion of what it means to receive. Those are the first two cards that popped out. And trust. You gotta take a leap of faith, baby. <laughs> I... Okay, so... The last things that came out. So first of all, Frisky, time to play, which is perfect since you got the Dalmatian, Dalmatian, yeah, Dalmatian Jasper stone as the stone for your reading. Your biggest obstacle is receiving. Accept the gift. And what that means is not like someone's, someone might be gifting you something, maybe an opportunity, maybe it is your person. But accept the gift that the universe has given you of having, I'm hearing twin flame for some of you, having the person that's meant for you be alive in this lifetime. Because sometimes it, it happens that like the universe gets reworked and you end up writing solo, right? Your soul just be out here doing it like you'll have a soulmate and shit like that but you won't have your divine you won't have your other half this person is literally that accept the gift and for your overall message you got a few things you got a few things because they all like slip slip and slid you trying to slip and slide <laughs> um <laughs> so your obstacle was received right your overall message was courage take a leap of faith baby 
And also, take and give comfort. If your person is comforting for you, let them know. Come in, be warm, be gentle, and check your fucking entitlement. Check your prima donna. Check where you are being very judgy. Because if this is a twin flame situation, you've probably been going through similar shit. Uh, so just be very handle with care is the vibe that I'm getting. And as far as your past, my love, tolerance. What I'm getting from the tolerance card, the sitting with it is like, what have you been tolerating that is not good for you? What have you been tolerating that essentially has been causing all this damage and all this pain. You are going to have to, where you're headed, trust. And this one literally says, take the leap. What does the courage card say? What the hell? It says, reach for the stars. Oh, you think they're a star. That's so cute. I love that for you. That's it for this portion. When we get into the extended reading, we are going to be doing a little bit more direct into this love situation what is going on with you why is it that you're afraid of your divine and all that good shit so yeah that's it for pile number one my lovely hummingbirds i hope you like it <coughs> please stop fucking hurting your lungs holy shit, you talky mushroom uh take care of your health take care of yourselves take care of your mind if this is where you're leaving me or you're nosy and gonna go watch the other piles cool but if this is where you're leaving me, like, share, subscribe, click the link in the description to see your extended reading. And uh, no, I'm sorry, the extended readings are not free. I am going to tell you, I'm not going to lie to you. I'll be like, yeah, go. And then you click and you're like, hey, she's charging for it. I am charging for it because uh, that's currently how I make money. So, because <laughs> your girl has been rage applying places. And let me tell you, it's rough out here. But yeah. Go ahead, do that. If not, as always, my lovely hummingbirds, if this is where you're leaving me, I will catch y'all on the next one tomorrow for the Wednesday Rate It Review. Uh, and yeah, les mando mucha paz, muchos besos. Y les recuerdo que miren hacia la luna, sending you much peace, many kisses, and reminding you to always look up at the moon. I love you so much. Have a good day. Take care of yourselves. Like I said, get the fuck out of bed. Fill your stomach with something. Get some coffee, some hot coffee. Uh, this is, I, this popped into my head, but something that my uncle told me of things that he learned in a program he went to was that when you're hung over, don't chug Pedialyte. You should be drinking Pedialyte before you go out because you risk uh fucking up your cholesterol and sugar levels in your body and don't drink cold liquids because that's essentially what sends a shock wave through your body and makes you puke so drink hot coffee teas or soups and what a amazing bartender who is an earth sign uh told me was bread meat cheese and water so yeah there you go 44 that's so funny so 4417 so cute okay that's it i love you all so much and i will catch you on the next one bye hello my lovely hummingbirds how's it going everyone uh welcome to pile two of today's pick a card reading i just want to say to start i love you I love you and it is going to be okay. If you were drawn to this pile, my lovely, lovely hummingbirds, I didn't want to say it so much in the intro because I don't want to spook y'all. But this one, my big mama deck, she tells it like it is. If you've seen my previous uh, videos here on a grain of salt, you have seen that she tells it like it is. So... <laughs> It was a gift from a dear friend and essentially the way that they explain it is that as far as tarot was that tarot is a slap in the face of the universe. It is everything that we refuse to like acknowledge and see and it comes out and Big Mama, she is, she don't sugarcoat and the fact that your clarifier, whoa, hi, 
the fact that your clarifying deck for today's reading is another tarot deck has me a little thrilled because and also kind of concerned for what is going to come up but also because this extended reading might I think it's it's going to be good the extended portion to this it's going to give you a lot of like hope and clarity but we're going to get really into like what is happening because as soon as I like started setting everything up for your reading I had such an intense like sensation of overwhelmingness I went to go get my stress ball one of my stress balls I want to get my it's Egyptian turquoise necklace and then like I put my other crystals in my pockets uh rose quartz black tourmaline and Ooh, it, it's going to be right here which one it is because I'm blanking out right now. But before we begin your reading and 2-2-2 two, two, two on the clock, we are going to do a little bit of deep breathing. We're going to do a deep breathing exercise. This is a deep breathing exercise that I learned from one of my besties, Rosie Gold X. Go check her channel out, follow her handles and all that good shit. Uh, but... It is the 478 method. You breathe in for four seconds, you hold for seven, and you release for eight. So let's do that. Uh, and I will keep time from the thing. I feel like the camera is lopsided. Like it just feels very chaotic. So I love you. It's going to be okay. <laughs> now me trying to cleanse you with the stick, the incense stick. Oh my gosh. Okay, the fact that you picked this pile and the fact that the stone is malachite makes a lot of sense, honestly, but let's get started. Let's do first, just shake it off a little bit there, and now let's do some deep breathing, okay? Ready? And... It's gonna be okay. It is gonna be okay. I promise you it is. I love you so much. I know things may seem chaotic right now and like you are at your wits end con la soga en el pinche cuello and you're just like, what am I gonna do? And everything might seem uncertain and scary and like there's just no out, but I promise you there is. I promise you there's a solution to this. And while everything might seem gray and muggy and fuzzy and like, <laughs> like wet confetti. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, I don't know if you guys know how hard it is to get glitter and confetti out of like your hair. Like that's literally what I imagine. It was like beautiful, just kidding. And it's all wet now it's stuck everywhere <laughs> it's okay okay i'm thank you for joining me in the deep breathing i hope it helped Ooh, i'm like out here kicking the camera but we're gonna get started with your big mama reading first and then we're gonna hit with the oh my nose is so itchy and then we're gonna hit with the clarifiers I am going to shuffle. Uh, I haven't shuffled her yet. I didn't really know why that was, but <laughs> the way you're feeling, I think you also kind of need to see the fact that I am shuffling on camera. Trust issues much, but that's okay. I don't blame you. <laughs> we all have our own level of trust issues. Queen of Cups says I cut it, which means you have a lot of issues around your emotions uh, you feel very very out of whack very unstable hello the justice card flipped out so we're gonna take that and then we're also gonna 
bitch, not the King of Cups. Oh, and the Queen of Cups just came out for you. Okay. I, I'm, I'm starting to paint a picture and I can see, so you probably came here from pile one and you've probably already gone to see the extended for pile one. Uh, mi amor, your future is not entirely conducive upon another person. And if the universe has told you time and time again that it is not your move to make, and I know you probably have played chess, you want to be at least 10 steps ahead of your opponent at all times. But if this is your person, they're not your opponent. No son tu contrincante. Like they are your love and love will come in when it's meant to but right now you got some other shit you gotta focus on with the justice card coming out there as well so okay thank you i appreciate it so right off the bat we got some real real heavy energies you are feeling pa la chingada is what i'm getting here and like and i'm speaking spanglish so you probably are latino or hispanic how is that even possible i've literally been shuffling and the seven and eight of wands both came out back to back okay can we get And I am shuffling, okay? <laughs> Two more, baby. Thank you. Mm. That's really interesting. You probably did watch pile one. <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds that it came out when I cut the middle of the deck and now it's on the bottom of the deck and I shuffled? What are the odds? <laughs> Oh, that's probably how you're feeling, too. You're like, I'm so sick and tired of this bullshit. <laughs> I love you, baby. It's going to be okay. So your overall message is... Oh, shit. We're going to put you right here. You, you have a lot of cards going on, but... Hmm, that's really interesting. Hold up, because I gotta make sure. Y'all out here making me doubt my shit. Like, how, what, what is happening? Ooh. <laughs> okay. All right, my lovely Queen of Cups, and for all of you, just so you know, this is not a gender or sexuality type of thing. This is specifically just energy. We all have masculine and female energies in our system of treats, and <laughs> we all have divine masculine and divine feminine. If you are watching this, you are the divine feminine. If you saw pile one, you're peeping into your divine masculine's reading because you're like, I need to know more. I need more answers. You're like hectic over here. So this is your reading. Screenshot it, you know, do whatever that you need to do to like hold that. This is your main reading. And baby... So one of the things that I noticed, not only did I notice in the picture that through like the little handle of my coffee mug, you can see the lighter, which means your ass probably be puff puff passing two, just like number one, pile number one over there. <laughs> Cut it out. I love you. Look, I ain't nobody to judge. Okay. Pero 
it's not it's not good for you baby it's not good for you not good for me not good for them it's not good uh there are ways to fight the craving if you feel that co uh, quitting cold turkey has not worked for you i am going to do a video around that you feel real fidgety i'm just like i need to do something i need to run i need to that type of energy so malachite which is the gorgeous green beauty here that you picked like very emeraldy vibes reminds me of the wizard of oz for some reason <laughs> no you are not a scary cowardly heartless lost oh my god you are not any of that what the hell and yes there is somewhere over the rainbow and it's gonna be beautiful once you get there which is so crazy so i saw this tarot reading earlier today and i for a lot of like my tarot readers that i watch on youtube i just play the whole thing through i'm gonna add a little snippet in there in the link in the description for their video but they mentioned that in the pile one of that video was it pile one or pile two either one but they mention rainbows as well so go watch that if you're so inclined to do so and i might give a little bit more clarification but like <sighs> wow okay so your overall message here is you got queen of cups and you got the five of swords in the reverse as well as the lovers and the judgment so i was like you know mama give me give me an overall message right <sighs> she's she's talking and i love her for it but this is a lot so three more cards that are popping up for you ten of cups seven of swords and temperance is he the silly booth to your temperance brennan you are so ugly for that i love you and i don't mean like i don't mean ugly in a bad way y'all i mean it like it's so cute so for those of you that don't know who temperance brennan or silly booth are they are the characters from the novel series created by dr kathy reich's forensic anthropologist best in the fucking country uh stateside and she you know then brought it forward and it became a tv show and all that shit in the show they're like out solving crimes she's a forensic anthropologist in the show he's an fbi agent and real quick synopsis here but they have this whole romance thing they tried it out once didn't really go anywhere like they made out nothing went past that and for like some of you that might be the situation and then you know time goes on all this crap they are solving murders serial killers everywhere trickery always having to watch their backs all this shit especially temperance and the fact that like what i'm getting from these three specifically right and this was not in your initial snippet of the reading that like i put there because this it was i just kept looking over and i was like okay okay there's a lot of cards and I get that, but I'll tell them the message anyway. Four, four, four. That's so funny. So you feel like in order to achieve this 10 of cups and the 10 of cups is ultimate happiness. You feel like not only do you have to watch your temper, but you got to watch your back too, because it feels like in order to achieve this, You're gonna have to compromise you're gonna have to compromise it's it's gonna be good but it's not gonna be really that good because you know there's gonna be chaos and all this other shit and there's so many moving parts and you don't know where they stand on any of this because you've been told x y and z by the universe and other readers and all this stuff but like you don't know how accurate any of it is and what do you really have to show for it there's no fucking receipts believe me i feel you Now, 
Your mind is running a mile a minute, just like theirs is. You are mirroring each other. For some of you, yes, you are twin flames. For other of you, you are soulmates. Uh, others, you know, that's, that's your divine. That's the person you're going to end up with. I feel real, like, fidgety here. Like, what is happening with my ponytail? What is happening? What, what is happening? Ah! Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Twenty six. What day is it today? Today's the twenty third. So for them, I got that the twenty seventh was going to be a really important day for you. I'm getting the day before that, the twenty sixth. The twenty sixth is going to be like a real, a real big shift, a real big like catalyst moment, like. You know what I just say? It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. The fucking TikTok sound, that's, that literally just started playing in my head. Uh, listen to Becky G to get back into your vibe because that it was her video that popped into my head where she's just like dancing. Uh, wear something white that day, whether it's your nail polish, your underclothes, <laughs> a shirt, a skirt, a dress, whatever it may be, your socks, your shoes, wear something white on the 26th. Uh, and simple. Go simple with the makeup is the vibe I'm getting. But real, cla real French classic makeup, that's very specific. That's not for everybody, but that <laughs> if that, if you're like, bitch, <laughs> then... <laughs> it's for you uh wow okay so like i said queen of cups five of swords in reverse essentially represents compromise you feel like i said in order to achieve this you feel like you're gonna have to settle but that's not what this compromise is. This compromise is not you settling for something. The compromise is the realization that you're going to have to reorganize things because they're not exactly like you thought they would play out. They're not, they're not. So I have this TikTok that I made where, and the gist of it is this, nothing ever happens to a T how we have seen it, but everything always happens exactly as is supposed to, exactly as it's been promised, exactly as we've seen the outcome of it, even if it doesn't happen exactly in the way, in the process in which we thought it would. The compromise is not going to be because you're going to have to settle for something that is less, something that you don't want, something that hurts you or them from pile one in some type of way for some of you it is it's a compromise of you having to adjust certain things in your life that no longer suit you so that you can go into this role into this opportunity that's a real big opportunity that's coming in very quickly and it's going to have you living a whole new life of abundance like you are leveling up to the nth degree okay and you need to start really trusting that because there's a whole lot of self-doubt so <laughs> you're worrying entirely too fucking much about what other people are gonna think say do whatever <laughs> Their mommy, their daddy, their sister, their cousin, their brother, da, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. It does not matter because with the lovers and the judgment current here, first of all, the mirroring of the situation is very interesting. We hold like this because they make it. <laughs> but you have 
the little cherubs up here, right? First, they're like shooting the arrow, and then now they're like, <laughs> and now you're not gonna like one day wake up and realize it was all a dream. I love you. You're not like stuck in a fucking perpetual state of being comatose. That's not happening. We're gonna hold it like this so we don't get in trouble with, with daddy YouTube. Uh, what you need to realize is the love, yes, we all accept the love we think we deserve. You might like perks of being a wallflower. I'm getting a lot of movie references, so either one or both of you. So for pile one, I got a lot of music references. For this one, I'm getting a whole lot of movie references. You guys are going to have a lot to bond over. You're both very artistic. You're both very talented. You both don't believe any of it is good. You both suppress your shit, which stop doing that. But this love that you have coming in is directly aligned with your life path. I know that you have been in over behoovement of consideration of, okay, but like, is he really the one God? Is he really universe? You've lied to me before. <laughs> How can I trust you when I've been bamboozled before? Had you not gone through the karmic that you went through, had you not experienced those situations, baby, you wouldn't have learned the lessons you needed to in order to perfectly align for this relationship. I can't believe this is turning into a fucking love reading. With Malachite being gorgeous crystal, like I said, and I don't think I said it, I think I like ended up going on a fucking tangent. Jeez, get some sleep. You need to sleep. You need some rest. You need to hydrate, you need to properly take care of yourself, you need to cleanse, you need to meditate. Uh, especially because you guys are heavily mirroring each other. So if they got evil eye being thrown at them, you probably do too. Protect yourself. But with Malachite, it removes blockages, it removes toxicity. It also clears out electromagnetic fields, which means that like you've Normally, the sensation that I would get would be that, like, you're spending too much time on social media, but I feel like the vibe that I'm getting here is you've been purging and reworking your socials. You might be a content creator or an entrepreneur of some sort that does their marketing through socials in order to, like, change your image, to change your perspective, build shit up, move forward. It is going to go well in that department, but your greatest obstacle, literally... I just, you stress me out <laughs> with love. You do, but world in reverse, Ace of Wands in reverse and the strength card in reverse. And I, I looked at them when they came out and I was like, you have so much doubt over your potential when there's so many fucking people that are afraid of you because they know how much potential you have and they know your capacity to succeed. And I'm not going to sit here and be like, so fucking show them and prove them wrong, but prove to yourself that you deserve this shit. You've gone through some shit is the vibe that I'm getting as far as like your king of cups. He's also working on his emotional maturity. He's also there. He's coming in. You're getting the justice card, which gives me <laughs> justice of the peace, gives me lawyer vibes, gives me courtroom, gives me like, not only are you going to receive justice in the situation and like your relationship is going to be beautiful. You guys are, you have to communicate though. You have to, both of you make that space to openly communicate with each other and like talk about everything because just as much as you know about this connection they do too so with the justice card either you or them is in some form of public service uh but what i'm getting from this is don't fucking worry about them <laughs> Don't worry about them. You need to worry about you. You got you got big girl, big boy shit going on. Big person shit going on. You have so much more to worry about than them. 
financial ventures, creative ventures, health, go get a checkup. You have been neglecting certain pains. I need you to go do that. Go get tested. Go do everything that you need to do to make sure that you're good. Because when they come in, things are gonna... They are gonna move so fucking quickly. With the fact that you got the Seven of Wands and the Eight of Wands literally back to back, there is gonna be a string of occurrences where yes you are going to face judgment right people are going to be judging the fuck out of your relationship and yes you guys are going to have to like defend each other and and protect the beauty of your relationship but it's going to happen so quickly the abundance and overflow of prosperity and the amount of like good shit that's coming with union is going to happen so fast that like that shit doesn't fucking matter Also, I need you not to worry about it because, baby, it hasn't happened yet. It's not happening right now. And if you are so... <clears throat> not only is your person feeling the energy too and they're probably like, why am I feeling like this? Ah, right? Depending on their level of like where they're at with that. You are also, which is funny because when I like looked at my candle at a point, it did this little like, when I'm doing a reading and if it does this little like almost heart shape, I'm like, oh, it's a love reading or a twin flame reading mainly. And I'm like, no, it can't be that. And then I'm like, oh yeah, it definitely is that. <laughs> you need to not focus on them right now. You need to focus on you. You have a lot of, you have a lot of shit that you need to get in order and handle and while they are going to come in the middle of you doing all of this, and it's going to be a really big relief for both of you, you both are going to be very helpful to one another. You need to make sure that you keep yourself grounded. Go for a walk. Do some yoga, do some meditation, work out if you need to like let out excess energy. We'll get into some spicy sight for you too. Some spicy stuff for you too, spicy sight. <laughs> Do you have a spicy sight? Did you have a spicy sight? Are you following? Are you pile one and you're following their spicy sight? Interesting. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a fucking fool, but definitely, definitely. Take a break, take some rest in between all of it. Learn how to allow yourself to rest while still being productive, yes. But you gotta learn that balance so you don't burn out when everything starts happening. Also, it's their move. They need not be your sole focus at this time. At this time, you have to work on you. You have to work on your content. You have to work on your business. You have to work on what it is that you want to do i don't know when the fuck that happened uh but apparently i almost burned myself <laughs> weird i had like this crazy ass dream the other day um where something like that happened on my finger on my index finger not burned but it was like real creepy anyway i'm just gonna wipe those whatever off whatever that was uh oh maybe you feel burned by them look all of that all that information all you need to know in regards to them will be brought with them okay so let's get into your other deck now because i feel a little better you feel a little better you feel a little calm i'm not feeling so like you know screaming on top of a mountain top or a hillside cute uh, that was slightly for me but cute um, la, 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 la. I don't know why I'm supposed to open this um, when this deck was gifted to me it came with a printout of the tarot card meanings and it's prompting me to look at the star
Where are you? It's so faded now. We're going to pray I can read this. The tower. Okay, so I got it. Uh, <laughs> the definition on here is hope, opportunity, and good prospects. So there is hope in whatever it is that like you've been recently looking into as a way to make funds it is going to be prosperous you're going to have good fortune you're getting a good opportunity coming in from that um but you need to not lose hope you need to keep going you need to not give up is essentially what i'm getting from that my friend that i mentioned uh rosie gold in the beginning she said something to me yesterday where she was like, you know, the biggest failure we can do is if we just stop doing because otherwise there is no failure. And I'm like, yeah, it's simply lessons. So don't stop, keep going. While you are gonna have to make adjustments and those really are the compromises that you're making. The other compromise that I'm getting is like, And you're going to hate this. You are really going to hate this. But you and, and them are really going to be that couple that has to get really engulfed in each other for a hot minute. Four of swords and eight of swords. Mm. In the middle of the deck. And I need you to work on your trust issues. Because... Not everyone has receipts. You probably are the receipt king, the receipt queen. Not everyone does that. Not everyone has gone through the shit that you've had to in order to have that be a mechanism of validation, of proof, of survival. So not everyone's going to have that. And you are going to have to take their word on a lot of shit. And I know that's hard for you and I'm saying that because as the two cards when I cut the middle came up, something was like grab the booklet, grab the booklet. And I'm like, oh, you guys want to see that like it's it's an actual thing and it's in here and I'm not just bullshitting you. But for the four of swords, it literally says I give myself permission to slow down and heal. And then eight of swords, the message, which like for anyone that's looking to get into tarot and oracle reading there is nothing wrong with you picking up the book and looking at it because sometimes yeah it's intuitive and you can get your own messages as you go along and then sometimes it's like okay how did this person intend for this to be read for the eight of swords okay it says i am free to choose my healing and my light and they're both upright with the healing you need to let go of that resentment you've probably already heard that before and you're like ugh <laughs> you gotta let go of that resentment you need to let go of that resentment towards them because you don't know you simply no i didn't know i get what you've seen but one thing is getting a message from the beyond from the great divine from the 5d we're de definitely Definitely doing a dreamscape oracle for you because, baby, I'm getting a whole lot separation and a lot's been in the 5D. And that's okay. Also, you got a long ass reading already. Don't tell the rest of the piles in the game pile one. I'm sorry if any of you were curious and you stuck around until you got to pile three. I'm sorry. I thought. My original plan was that these reads were only going to be like 15 minutes long per pile and we're kind of just going with the flow for whatever the fucking message is for y'all because this shit is intense. I don't mean to like, I don't know, make anybody feel slighted because one pile is longer than the other. That's not my intention at all i'm literally just going with the fucking flow right now and first off i hate that i hate that phrase that's my own issue i gotta go uh but you need to 
heal. And I've done so much healing. I'm tired of healing. This is not healing like before. Like I'm stuck in the state of perpetual healing. This is a... Oh. Let me heal my mindset towards this connection. Because you are not... You're not seeing things clearly. With the fact that the Eight of Swords in this pile, in this pile, in this deck is blindfolded. And crows or ravens are like swirling everywhere. <laughs> this card came out in their extended and it also came out in the reverse for you. Both of you are going through very, very similar situations or have when you do talk to each other you're literally gonna be like this is creepy that's why you're gonna have this like no, i can't fucking believe it. you're lying ain't no fucking way uh you went through that too <laughs> they did though and you're just gonna have to sit there and take it and trust it and i know that feels <laughs> you judgy bitch i love you but it's okay it really is, and it's going to be okay. Um, don't judge them so harshly. Maybe that's also their fear is what I heard, but that's also your fear. You're sitting there like, Monroe, I don't want to judge them so harshly, but like, I'm tired and I'm running out of time and the clock is ticking and all this stuff, the clock ain't ticking. I saw this quote that said, if we're feeling anxious about the future is because, no, if we are feeling anxious in the present, it's because we are over focusing on a future that we haven't created yet. And then I, I'm totally like adjusting the quote, by the way, for this reading, because I don't remember it verbatim, but you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Uh, and if we are stuck in nostal in nostalgia why can't i say it in english in nostalgia in the present it's because we're focusing too harshly on the mistakes of the past i need you to cut that shit out and work on your gr on your on your grinding so yeah because i didn't think work grind that's not the kind of grind i thought oh yeah Oh yeah. Oh, we're definitely gonna get into it in in the extended. Yeah, I figured. Hmm. Okay. You are not a failure. Said what I say. Okay. Got a whole lot of sevens over here. So, <laughs> baby, you're definitely coming from pile one, from watching their pile one, because you just got two cards that were in theirs, in their extended. Okay, okay, let me tell you how divinely guided just how divinely guided all of this is, okay? My lovely, lovely hummingbirds. This is your reading. Did I expect this many cards to pop out? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not, but here we are. Again, take a screenshot, do whatever you need to do. I promise you, you are the queen of the receipts. I cannot, you're the king of the receipts. You are the sovereign of the receipts, ruler of the receipts. Uh. <laughs> This union is so divinely guided. It is so divinely blessed. The universe literally held y'all off from each other because it wasn't time. And not as in because the clock is ticking time. It's because you were not aligned with who you were both supposed to be for this union. We're gonna light some more incense because We have to, we have to. I had rose petal first and now we have lavender. So you 
Yeah, I'm cleansing you, okay? <laughs> I'm cleansing you through the phone, baby, because bendita. Ay, ay, ay. Man, worry about getting your ass fat, okay? And fucking go do some squats to some bad bunny. This relationship is divinely guided. You got the Hierophant and the High Priestess. To me, this is the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine of Intuition. <laughs> you are divinely made for each other. And nothing and no one can nor will get in the way of that. But it is going to take work. It is gonna take solid efforts from both of you. You cannot control everything and you certainly can't control them. You can hold each other accountable, sure, but you are both responsible for your own actions and decisions. And if they don't come in exactly in the way that you think that they will, that's because they're not supposed to come in in the way that you think that they will, because then that would ruin the surprise, and the universe always has to surprise. Where you're at currently, I'm seeing a whole lot of green and a whole lot of blue, and I need you to work on your throat chakra and your heart chakra. Work on that resentment and work on that communication. So that when you... when When you do meet up with them, interesting, they're going to hit you up for a meetup. But when you do meet up with them, that's that's why you're you're like, ha, huh, after everything, this is how you approach me. No se sé si, wey. <laughs> I love you. Don't be like that. little cute fit. I need to be careful what I do on this channel, but <laughs> we're going to get spicy on the spicy site for the extended yes the extended versions and readings are all on the spicy site because i can say do show whatever on there and not like get fucking put down or whatever because of like restrictions and all that also it is 18 plus y'all so if you are under the age of 18 first off i love you <laughs> You have a whole life ahead of you. It's going to be okay. While some of you do, some of y'all are the lucky ones and you meet the love of your life real early on and it's just instant click and it's beautiful. Cool. Uh, if you are under the age of 18 and you already wait, oh, whew, you woke up already to this twin flame journey. I love you so much. So much. Please look into therapy. Please look into it. And not just like traditional therapy is what I'm getting, but also like spiritual coaching and stuff like that. Look for a mentor. Look for someone that's like been through it. And even for those of you that are above the age of 18, really start collecting your tribe. Really start getting your people that have been through this shit so that like when you're going through it, you don't keep in the spiral of like, I am losing my shit because like that's not a conducive place to be at especially with you having to do so much creative shit you probably also do spiritual shit you you can't keep in this like okay oh yes I'm drinking caffeine no it's not my first cup of coffee for the day now my who's getting so, it's not the wig that's itchy. Y'all make me itch, but <laughs> okay, I'm just looking at all the numbers here. Page is 10. So, 10s, 9s, 7s and fours could be super significant to you you might be seeing 444 11 11 10 10 i don't know why i said 11 11 maybe you have been seeing 11 11 uh 10 10 which 
10 out of 10. I love that number, by the way. So pretty. Go look up that angel number. Uh, sevens, nines. <sighs> Maybe, oh, that's my birthday. Aw. Maybe you are my birthday twin and you were born on July 9th. Hi, baby. Or maybe you were born in September. Don't mind me glaring at the universe. Uh, maybe you were born on September 7th or a week of, right? That time frame. The time frame of, of September, yes. But from July, I'm shaking my heart, just started. Okay, from July 9th, my both like, to September 7th, the week of September 7th is going to be three months. It's going to be it's going to be saucy. <laughs> it's going to be sexy. It is going to be intense. And the reason that you have been like just dead body resting recently and just knocking out and all this shit because you you're you gonna need that energy let me tell you you're gonna need that energy both of you are if you came from file one or if you came from the extended from file one you're both gonna need that energy so get ready that's why you're also being told to go to the gym so you can get your body ready get that stamina going um uh, hmm. anywho promise you have the longest fucking reading of all three piles but hey you might need it you might need this hour and change of like time to just chill out and if you're watching me on like double speed i don't blame you i'd be doing that sometimes too when i'm just like just have the fucking message already <laughs> okay where you are currently we got nine of pentacles in reverse and nine of swords upright what does this mean with the nine of pentacles in the reverse i mean yeah it is in the reverse choose the nine of pentacles in the reverse and the knight of swords upright like i said sleep you are under the mindset that it should have already been done you should have already seen the fruits of your labor that you should have already seen the reward for your work it's like a reward yeah this time period is like a reward because you lost yourself you lost the original intent of why you started it and you got complacent and you got you got really wrapped up in the luxury of the hustle from what you were making that you forgot hey this is actually not what I'm supposed to be doing. Let me rework and focus and find that balance. And now you've been thrown somewhat into this tumultuous situation so you can remaster, rebrand, recenter, meditate, and ground yourself to the reality of what the fuck you're supposed to be doing. Because the clarifier to your Nine of Pentacles is the six of swords which is going on a voyage so you might be going on a trip going on a trip in my favorite rocket ship uh <laughs> you your boo uh who's not your boo yet but is your boo because the universe said so <laughs> Jeez, is probably gonna take you somewhere away go no they're not a serial killer plotting your untimely death because of this existential bullshit that you got going on and it's no baby you guys are gonna need that time away though from everyone and everything you probably live in the same city you probably know the same circles of people and once like people see y'all in these streets it's gonna be chaos so you are gonna have to be away and unplug so get your business shit up and running so that it's not like <laughs> where'd they go they just left they just came back now they're gone again get shed in order so that you're not like oh my god what do i do and like my eyes keep watering throughout this whole thing that like what is happening here 
it literally fucking went up <laughs> i said that and you know what i thought i thought of like <laughs> have you guys seen cry baby the movie with johnny depp and oh my god why can't i remember her name but i pictured her when she's like crying into the jar but i pictured it like you're laid over your bed crying into a bowl of your tears because <laughs> or like laying it's okay like tears can't fall down if i'm laying upside down first off don't do that <laughs> blood is gonna rush to your head <gasps> oh not the head you wanted oof, 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 so serious. The reason I'm saying focus on your business right now, the reason that you're being told to focus so heavily on you is because you are going to take this trip. You guys are going to go somewhere and you got the queen of pentacles. Emphasis on business, on I'm getting really your creativity, your grounding. I'm getting very, she's so pretty. Oh, look at her. Beautiful. Agree. Uh, and grounding. Mother nature. If you are going to be doing some puff puff passing, do it intentionally. As in like, use that shit for your meditation. Use it with the purpose to focus and center. Not just to like, I don't know, put yourself in a mood so that like, you could just get through the day. It's not about just getting through the day. It's about intentionally taking the necessary steps to move forward and move past what happened and focus on what is happening because what you did already the mistakes that you made they're done you can't fix what's already been done you can only learn from it and then do better and when i said that granted like this isn't like oh i fucked up and i dyed my hair the wrong color like i'm getting like situations with other people you need to let that go because that is none of your concern and they are none of your concern. Okay? This, your future, and then when your person comes in and like speaks up and is like, hey, let's go get some coffee. Let's go on a date. Let's go do this. That's, then that will be part of your concern. But right now I need you to focus on you. You have the seven of wands and the seven of cups. Seven of wands is in reverse. And you got the seven of cups. And he looked real pensive to me. We're gonna... Un tamil librito. He looking real pensive there. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So the upright meaning for the seven of wands in the booklet is essentially I am deserving of the success and it goes very in line with like you're doubting everything, you feel misunderstood, you feel judged, you feel like all this negative shit and you probably were. I mean not... <laughs> Not me, like, being like, yes, that is exactly what happened, and, like, you suck. Like, I'm not telling you that, my love. What I'm saying is, like, this previous situation that you were in, this previous relationship, that, mm, previous relationships you were in, yeah. Yeah. You probably were. Because you were probably out here, like, yo, I have all these ideas, I have all this creativity, I have all this imagination, I have so much to light the way for the future and my future, and because of whatever their purpose is in life, whatever it is they're meant to do, they couldn't see you because that's not where you were supposed to be and that wasn't your circle. It's okay to let them go and move forward. With the Ace of Pentacles, focus on your bag, focus on that opportunity that is coming in. Uh, and then the Fool. Think outside the box is what I'm getting for this. And listen to your dreams. She's holding an amethyst. 
yeah definitely gonna use dreamscape for yours listen to your dreams look at it think outside the box look at ways that you can make start making and implementing those changes now you have the four of wands this is where you're headed a celebration abundance joyfulness merriment this is also the marriage card traditionally so this is the one they are your person if that's the confirmation you were looking for and you're like oh, damn you monroe i was hoping you were gonna tell me something else no i'm not i'm sorry i love you uh get to writing i picked up my pen get to writing Ooh, keep a dream journal so start keeping a dream journal also because of the blue of it focus on like this technique it's called dear man uh i'm probably gonna launch that next week or I might do a TikTok about it. We'll see. Um, definitely, like, keep an eye out. Google it if you can. I don't know if it's on Google. I haven't checked. But it's a thing that I learned in my trauma program. And it's essentially listing out what it is that you want to say in the situation. So definitely start working on that. Start working on, like, your articulation. Because this is coming in. Like, like it or not, motherfucker, it's coming in. Maybe you have commitment issues. <laughs> Maybe the problem is me. Might be. So if you saw my wands breakdown of a grain of salt last week, uh, you saw when I said to me the pages, <laughs> the pages of that all are the fuck boys of that all in my book because it's like they're while they are like making a decision it's not a decision it's not a king it's not a queen it's not a decision to the fullest potential so you got page of cups in reverse and <laughs> what i think for this one is um ay mi amor ay mi amor <laughs> creo que piensas con los pies ay mi amor ay mi amor <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're, you're probably feeling like that. You're thinking, like, get your head out your ass, dude. Like, come on, get it together. And then you got the Page of Pentacles. So, what this means, I'm gonna read it to you. You are really, <laughs> baby, I love you. I do. I need you to work on your trust issues. I really do. <laughs> oh you ain't gonna like this <laughs> you are not gonna like this because you're not gonna believe it that's why you're not gonna like it So the message for the Page of Pentacles here says, I can be practical and realistic and still run ahead to meet my dreams. And then the message is, the world is my flourishing oyster and I'm excited to see what happens next. But the page is in reverse. For the shadow side of the page, it says missing the signs. And for the Page of Pentacles, it says beginnings. And I kept talking about trust issues, which leads me to believe. 5335, oh my God. You, you have, just because you saw the signs, oh, you saw the sign and I opened up my eyes, I saw the sign. Just because you saw the sign does not mean that they saw it too. Just because you are as advanced as you are now does not mean that they are too. They might not be as aware or they might have ignored the signs like you did too at first. Because you were like, hell no, I can't be this fucking person. Ain't no way. You might have. Use your discernment. Trust your gut. Because you also got a karmic coming in. And like my eye, this eye is just... Do a cleanse, también. 
because whatever they're doing on them is affecting you and yeah why is it me that has to do the protection and all this stuff i'm telling you you're the more spiritual one that's out here doing all the cleanses and the smudging and all that shit and they have to get it done by somebody else so don't be stubborn <laughs> You know you're a light worker. You know you're an empath of some sort. You know that you have love to give. But I need you that when this love comes in, you trust it. Because they are meant for you. And have that discernment. The universe told you this was your person. The universe showed you what's going to happen. Start living it now here okay that's it for this part of the reading i'm excited for the spicy stuff because i was getting some spicy flashes uh and oh my god my mouth i started drooling jeez <laughs> i'm excited for this uh but yeah that is it for your reading here if you are so inclined go ahead follow the link in the description for the extended portion of your reading and good luck. I love you. Keep trusting. Keep believing. Keep doing. You have the talent. You've already made the choice in your life. Telling me to cut the deck. Why are we cutting the deck? <laughs> you got judgment again. <laughs> stop being judgy. Uh, and also stop overly criticizing yourself is what I'm getting with that one. Okay. There is a positive feedback and like seeing things and realizing where you need to make changes but there's also the over -criticize criticization of yourself don't do that that's imposter syndrome if uh yeah go watch make a motivation from yesterday covered imposter syndrome getting that real heavy you gotta wipe that away from you okay and yeah as always les mando mucha paz muchos besos y les recuerdo que miren hacia la luna sending you much peace many kisses and reminding you to always look up at the moon i love y'all so so much i hope you enjoy the extended reading if you go to it i hope you love this reading like share subscribe follow me on all of my handles if you're sticking for pile three because you're like well i've gone this far <laughs> cool uh and yeah that's it for your reading my lovely lovely hummingbirds i love you so much have a good one bye Hello, my lovely hummingbirds, and welcome to file three. How's it going, everyone? I'm lighting incense in case you're wondering why my hand is so close to like the phone like that. Hmm. I wasn't lighting, and my throat started feeling itchy. Let's clear that out. <coughs> Either you've been sick of recently. <laughs> I just heard sick of the bullshit. You're tired. You're annoyed. You're frustrated. You're like, I'm done over whatever all of this is. Which is very interesting. Uh, if you picked pile three, then you picked this gorgeous orange calcite and the labyrinth tarot the reason that i said that it's interesting the orange calcite has to do with feelings of anxiety and depression but specifically over longing longing for a place you can call your own your own your home Aw, uh, you're like trying to find home. You're trying to find getting that person that you can feel at home with. How fitting, considering that this lovely cosplay is inspired by none other than the Queen of Hearts. Yes, I have a whole dress on right now. <laughs> Just so that, you know, YouTube doesn't also yell at me like, bitch, put some clothes on. It's a dress. But... You feel very heavy. You feel very heavy, very tired, very like, you're like, I just can't catch a fucking break. It's coming. You just, 
there's some moves that you need to make on your behalf in order to move forward. But let's get started with your reading, uh, which I love this because like you take it and the booklet comes out and then like the cards come out. It's so cute. It's so simple. Makes it so easy. I love this deck. It is very earnest. Is a very earnest and honest deck. And I think that's what you need right now. You might not. You might be struggling to believe in people. Uh, not so much yourself. Like you, I don't see really lack of confidence in self. I'm not. I'm not getting the vibe of like that's what it is with you. What I feel that it is with you is. You don't know who you can trust right now when it comes to this person. Also, you might be dealing with some work issues, some business issues right now. Uh, oh, shit. Nope. One at a time, please. Uh, we... You might be getting involved with some stuff that has absolutely nothing to do with you, technically. Like, it might, but it might not. As in, your actions might directly affect somebody else's situation, especially in the love department, but their actions you're freaking the fuck out because the cards are essentially in your hands. It's up to you to make a move, to make a decision, and you'll know how you're going to start to do that. Interesting. You feel very blocked, very... So, I literally just had to shift in my seat, and the way that I shifted, like, butterfly pose, because... <laughs> which huh, butterflies butterflies might be very significant to you so the orange calcite also has to do with alignment of the lower chakras you might be dealing with a lot of sacral root and solar plexus issues uh you might be dealing with some other kind of issues but we're not going to talk about that on here we're going to save that for the spicy site because i got some things to tell you about that but let's let's get started you are very i'm not liking this energy and i feel like this is very weird for you too like you're not a person that typically has doubts like this or suffers from insecurity like <laughs> You're fine and you know you're fine, type of thing. Like, not to be a cocky fuck or anything like that. You literally know that you're very, very good looking. Very conventionally pretty. <laughs> okay. Ace of junk and nine of junk. Come on. What? You clicked on this reading. I don't know why you're blocking it. Come on. It's not a brand new deck. I've used it a bunch. Not really understanding. Why we're having these issues? Well, I am understanding why. You're scared of what the fuck this reading's gonna tell you. Because you probably were nosy and were like, let me watch that one and tell it too. So, I don't know if I already said this because I'm like so in tuned into your heavy ass energy right now. But uh, I said to pile two, no, it's not angels. So, 
in the extended but for you my lovely hummingbirds either you are angel or your name is angel or something to do with angelic realm <laughs> That's cute. Okay. Oh, baby. Can we clarify the case? Oh. Very interesting. I'm sorry, I'm so quiet right now. Look, I know it was just National Theater Day the other day, but you don't gotta be so fucking dramatic. <laughs> very, very interesting, okay. So your overall message is temperance and the five of feathers in reverse, which equates to the five of swords. Uh, hold on. We're gonna take a little picture of your reading so you can see the whole thing. Uh, but I'm feeling a whole lot of apprehension right now. Like, I feel like I don't know what to do with myself. Like, and not in like a... It's, it's not in a... You got the king of pots and the queen of pots. But you came out as the king of poles. You're the third party in this situation. We're gonna get into what that means. It's not entirely a bad thing, but okay, let's let's get into it because I, yeah, yeah. Let's get into it. So <clears throat> this is your reading. Okay, so also the vibe that I'm getting because this is the only video that I have recorded on the warmest setting of my ring light. Plus I added a fucking warm filter onto yours. You need some TLC. You miss the warmth. You might not originally be from, I was gonna say here. If you're in Chicago and you're not originally from Chicago and you missed the warmth, get some hot chocolate. <laughs> um, wrap yourself in a blanket, have a day just to like love on you. But wherever you're at is a lot colder than what you're used to. You're not really fucking with it. You're feeling very left out on the cold. Uh, when I took a picture you're reading, my candle that I got around the holidays is Christmas themed. And I'm thinking that's when you came into town, wherever into town is. And you've kind of been stuck in this situation of like, can't really say limbo because that's not a good <laughs> way to phrase it, but you've been feeling very stuck because you know what the fuck it is you're supposed to do, but you're also, you came here as a mentor to help someone very close, near and dear to your soul. And then you ended up realizing, especially in this situation. So my lovely hummingbirds, if you are not asking about a love situation, uh, this might not be the reading for you. 
This ended up being a love situation real fucking fast. And I, it was not planned that way. Oh, it really was that. But that has just been the flow of this pick a card, apparently. <laughs> I'm just sitting here like, what the hell? At first, the way that I was going to read this was going to be like where you are currently, your obstacles, where you're headed. But yours ended up being completely different from everybody else's. So you, my lovely hummingbird, are on the side of temperance. Your person, and I know you don't like hearing this, but they are, they could be your person depending on some outer circumstances and your own decisions. We're going to get into why that is in a second, but they are on the side of the five of swords in reverse and, or five of feathers, same concept, with the king of pots as like an overruling message there. And this incense burning quickly. Uh, you might be a fire sign. I'm getting heavy Leo energy. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Uh, Saturn being called to say, don't know why, maybe. Uh, Libra. Somewhere in your chart too, but Let's, let's get into what all this means, okay? Okay. So, how do I start this? You're on the side of Temperance, they're on the side of the Five of Feathers in reverse, with the King of Pots overseeing their side. This person that you are, okay, how do I say this, my love? You are the soulmate to this person's twin flame, to the King of Pots. And while there are many types of soulmates and a lot are platonic that is not particularly the case here you are the soulmate that was getting thrown into the situation to essentially light a fire under the king of pots so they can get their queen of pots it is not a cruel joke of the universe. I don't want you to think that. You do have a soulmate coming in, but you still serve a very pivotal role when it comes to the Queen of Pots. When it comes to the Queen of Pots, you, you're meant to, so with Temperance as your overall card, you're gonna have to make a very, very calculated choice which is not odd for you because I see you here with Ace of Junk, Nine of Junk, Two of Poles, and the Hierophant. You are a very wise, smart, like let me guess you up real quick. <laughs> wise, smart, <laughs> I was gonna say you're that bitch. You really are. You are very established. You have made a name for yourself. You have made immense financial stability. Your body looks the way that it does because you take care of yourself, your finances, your home, all of it. And what it feels like to me is that you're saying to yourself, the only thing I'm missing now is my queen. With the fool in reverse and the king of bulls. I need you to resist temptation. Because while you might be the king of wands, you can still get burned here. I don't want you to get hurt. I keep hearing that then like, <laughs> I don't know whose voice this is, but I keep hearing 
You know, I could fight against a lot of things, but I can't fight against the Twin Flame. And yes, you want to try, and the idea of it is tempting, but it's not going to go anywhere. Because your person, and I'm calling them your person for the sake of this reading, and the fact that they are your soulmate, but they already surrendered to the universe. So the Queen of Pots here is being clarified by the Chariot. They might be a water sign with all this fucking water energy. They might be, <laughs> might be one of mine, <laughs> might be a Cancer, uh, but Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And with the Five of Feathers in reverse, over the star, the demon, this is why I said you're so fucking dramatic. <laughs> but it's not you, it's them. They're being dramatic as hell. And then, fi fuck, fate. <laughs> I was like, wait. <laughs> fate and the eight of feathers in reverse. Clarified by the five of feathers and the king of pots. They have completely surrendered to the divine plan, to the divine guidance, to the acceptance that their twin is their person in this lifetime romantically. And while I'm just going to tell you right now, you probably check every single one of their boxes. It's not going to happen in this lifetime with love not because you're not worth it not because you're not enough not because you're not worthy but because they can't fathom hurting their twin they can't fathom putting themselves in a space where like they have to see them suffer every single day and you're thinking oh they can make me suffer no bitch <laughs> tampoco pero you have a soulmate that's going to come in amongst all this insanity. But you still have to come in and offer, and especially it's it's a money offer. It's a business deal with this Queen of Pots. You guys have a business venture together. And things are going to get a little confusing and it's going to get not completely messy at all. But it is going to get a little confusing because the chemistry is so heavy. My mouth just watered. Oh my god. Yeah, we're going to talk about some things on your extended because <laughs> feeling some type of fucking way. <laughs> so stupid. That's... That's it for this portion. That's it for this portion. Let's let's get some advice cards. Let's get some advice cards to see what it is that you need to work on. You honestly, my love, have the shortest fucking reading. Like I don't. I feel like it's also because there's nothing in here that I could tell you that's actually gonna really surprise you. It's not anything that you haven't already told yourself this morning even but you kind of just needed that confirmation from that universe from the universe from the <clears throat> like validation if what you're thinking is right you're not wrong you're really not wrong this is your person to some degree because like you are your souls are tied to one another like you made the agreement that like you guys were going to come and you were going to help along in their journey and like assist them in fulfilling their life's purpose which inadvertently requires a little bit of magic <laughs> and you got the Midas touch Yes, they do genuinely love you. It just can't be in the way that you're seeking. And temptation might be just 
yanking at you. But I'm gonna need you to get it together because it's not gonna be fruit free. All right, up next, we are going to be using the Secret Symbols Oracle deck. Get some extra messages here for you because when I feel like I'm screwing you out of your fucking reading, theirs were like so fucking long and complicated and yours is so simple. Just like you. Not saying you're like simple minded or any derogatory bullshit, but like, I don't know. You just feel very like you have it put together, if that makes sense. But you still have to come through. <laughs> I know you don't want to hear that and you can't fucking run away because with your fucking luck, baby, you're going to run into her in the airport. That's why you feel slighted. Very interesting. Okay. Okay. All right. So what I'm getting, <laughs> so fucked up. Confirmation that you are potentially a fire sign. Courage. The next step in your life is going to require courage and communication. So, because <laughs> it'll bring about good fortune. So with, which honestly, the fact that all the elements are here means you yourself are a very balanced individual, which like, we love a balanced gang over here. I'm gonna take a picture of your reading um, but yes, this <laughs> is your reading. Now, with your overall message being courage and fire with the numbers 27 and 37, there might be an age gap between you and the Queen of Pots. It does not have to be 10 years. It could be for some, but you are older than her. Them. Uh... Coming in hot. No, but <laughs> I feel like you're super blocked right now. You're very, very blocked from like being red, from being because you feel like even if you are, nobody's really listening and paying attention. You know how you achieve that? Communication! <laughs> Because communication brings good fortune. <laughs> so this one I didn't place in the image of your overall reading. Those are more so bonus cards. You, oh my god. So the message that I just got right now. So this person might be 28 years old. Because the good fortune card says 28 and the air card says 13. The king of the king of pots might have met this person at the age of 13 or roughly around that time. You might have met them already or will meet them during the time that they are 28. And you feel like, okay. So I'm going to paint a scene for you of what it is that I see. You came to town with the hopes to advise this person and be like, hey, 
I get it, it's complicated, it's difficult, all this stuff. And it got to the point where like you taught them everything you know when it came to money, to spirituality, to mental health, to physical health. And you were like, I am gonna get you right for this person. And then they kept talking about this person. And talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. And, talking. and you are very action oriented. And you just listening to all this talking and seeing nothing being done pissed you clean the fuck off. To the point where you might have had a slight disagreement with this person, but you couldn't really explain to them why, because they were in a vulnerable state. And you ended up looking up the Queen of Pots, which means she probably does shit similar to what I do on social media or has a social media presence. And according to you, you fell in love. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm really not. It's so fucking cute. <laughs> it really is. Because just like you have been feeling desolate in love, I'm sure Queen of Pots did too for a really long time. Theirs came though more so from the feeling of a negative pull from the King of Pots. King of Pots didn't want shit to do with them because their life was already planned out. And you strolled along in during mid tower moment for them. And you picked them up and that's why it feels like such a betrayal because you're looking at everything they're saying and seeing no forward movement and you're like, dude, if I was you, I would have already been there. What are you waiting on? And that keeps playing in your head and it keeps playing in your head. And I'm like seeing, like going to the fucking gym, watching this person's videos. And you're just like, bro, if you don't fucking do it, I'm gonna do it. And you have even gone as far as to do the O method on this person and trying to get into their 5D and doing all this stuff. Because you're like, shit, if you're not gonna fucking step up and give them everything I will, you might be more established than this person, getting you're older than them too. It might not be, like the age difference might not be much, but it is significant when it comes to experience and mindset. Experience, mindset, and money. And that's also one of their insecurities. You are everything they strive to be, but the universe has also told them that if they don't get it together, universe is gonna throw you in front of the queen of pots and be like, here you go, here's your present, take him. The other one's never coming. I don't wanna call you a consolation prize because that's mean. <laughs> that is so mean. And you've seen how beautiful it is, but they refuse to hurt this person in that way and they refuse to hurt you, which is why they might keep you at an arm's length even when you do come through. Your temptation, as they are for you, because you're watching. And now you feel slight pussy too because your ass is also fucking waiting like, shit, what do I do? when you know you have the solution to help them in your back pocket. Like with Talisman, I literally got that. Like you have the fucking key to break away the shadows and bring forward all this light and all this magic and all this beauty. Let's get into the cards now. Talisman and Shadow. Talisman, Talisman. Talisman, talisman. <laughs> Where the fuck did I get that from? Okay. The talisman and shadow.
you have the key. When I said you literally have in your back pocket what you need to help the Queen of Pots, this is literally confirming that. You have the key to bring light to the shadows and it's gonna suck because you have to be vulnerable and open with this person. And that's the last thing you wanna fucking do. But you need to, because you're magic. You have magic within you, you have the magical touch, you are fucking royalty with all this purple. And then Earth, the reason that I laughed in the beginning when your cards came out was because confirmation you're a fire sign with the overall message. With this, what I'm getting is you taught their, whatever the king of pots is, they're probably an earth sign. And you taught them your skill set, your magic, what you know to do. And that brought an end to a toxic cycle for your family, for yourself, for some sort of generational curse. Because it came with you accepting the fact that you're a healer. With this and the symbol on the truth card, there is a lot of, a lot of Egyptian iconography, same as was in pile one. Probably watched them as I said, so there's that. You know that change is never easy. You know that change is never simple. And you always embrace it because you know that you have the power that it takes to always make it better, to heal yourself, to heal others. And you're finally embracing that healing. But it is time for you to speak up on your truth and share your knowledge with this water sign. Focus on what it is that you want, but be very aware at this time what it is that you're focusing on because you are bringing these thoughts into a reality into your reality specifically and with truth and knowledge here uh i'm getting some real big secrets or real big family secrets are gonna come out and it's gonna help you get the push which is so weird because you've never needed a push before and you're sitting there like why the fuck do i need a push now but it's gonna help you with the push that you need in order to come forward and admit to this person what it is that you're feeling and what it is that you're here to offer we're gonna go into the extended i would love to say that it's gonna be a spicy reading but i have no idea what the hell we're gonna come out in that reading so, yeah, that's it for you today, my love. Please, stop drinking. Uh, that's not for everybody. If you don't drink, that message ain't for you. But if you do, stop drinking. <laughs> um, it's not helping you. It's not helping your tummy. That's it. I, I love you. I wish it would have been longer the reading the reading oh my god sucios the reading <laughs> wish the reading would have been longer i wish there was more to tell you in regards to this situation but essentially all that i'm being told is to tell you that you are simply the mentor here You're the mentor that's supposed to help them figure it out, and that sucks. And the reason your soul recognizes them so heavily is because it's not the first lifetime you've had together. And it's not the first lifetime you've shared where things weren't platonic. A couple of reincarnations ago, their twin flame was not reincarnated Earthside. And a couple more, they never got it together. If they are getting it together, don't be toxic. Don't sabotage it. You'll only hurt yourself in the end. Okay? I love y'all. That's it for me today. As always, les mando muchas paz, muchos.
besos y les recuerdo que miren hacia la luna. Sending you much peace, money. Kisses and reminding you to always look up at the moon. I love you all so much. I will catch y'all on the next one. My lovely pile threes. It's gonna be okay. All of this hurts. All of this hurts. Like, you gotta remove these blockages. Okay? Not helping you. <laughs> I was writing things. Anyway. <laughs> I love you. It's gonna be okay. And yes, you are the third party <laughs> of sorts. But you know damn well better than to end up messing in things that you're not supposed to be messing in. That's not you. It's never been you. So don't start now. You're going to find love. You're going to get love. And it is going to be through her. It's just not going to be. <laughs> I can't say that on YouTube. I'll get in trouble. Pero. Hop on over to the spicy site if you are so inclined. The extended reading will be available there for purchase. And yeah, do so by following the link in the description and clicking on the little crystal ball there. Okay, that's it. I love y'all so much. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.